The NFL made a major announcement on Friday with a salary cap for the 2024 season jumping to $255.4 million, which is a jump of more than $30 million that was previously expected. This comes as a welcome surprise for many teams around the National Football League, but there's not many teams that will benefit from this more than the Buffalo Bills, who were expected to be $51 million over the cap which is a number that was cut down significantly to around $41 million. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varko, and today I'm here to discuss some pretty big news surrounding the National Football League. Obviously, a significant increase in spending money for every team in the league. It's huge news, and it's huge news for teams that are over the cap, like the Buffalo Bills or the New Orleans Saints, who find themselves in cap hell still. But, before we really dive into this video, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Check out other content on the Bills Bunker. Stay tuned for more stuff coming your way. And if you like this video by the end of it, give it a thumbs up. Obviously, the Bills are in a sticky situation in terms of their spending money still, as they're over the cap by a significant number at this point in time. But they can close the gap by close to half of the $40 million margin just by restructuring Josh Allen's contract alone. The cap relief is a welcome surprise for the Bills as they can use all the financial help they can get at this point in time. The team has had a really tough contract agreement with Von Miller, who's expected to have a cap hit of over $23 million next season. He needs to step up and hopefully return to form, but the new cap ceiling allows the team to potentially re-sign re some other guys on their defensive line, such as Leonard Floyd and A.J. Epinesa, or they can bring in other talent. Really, this team can significantly save some money just by restructuring the contract of Josh Allen and cutting a few players here and there. By no means is this team out of the cap hell that they got themselves into. This is still a financially burdened team right now, but they can use all the help they can get. They'll welcome this gladly and this will help them field a more competitive team around Josh Allen in 2024. While this news helps the Bills, it's not all sunshine and rainbows because it also helps out their competition. Other competitive teams such as the Kansas City Chiefs, Cincinnati Bengals, and the Houston Texans in the AFC, they already had a lot of spending money to begin with and now they're just getting more, more and more money to bring in more talent. So there, there's pros and cons to this. So while this is definitely welcomed by the Bills and it's going to help them get out of the financial burden that they're in right now, it's also going to help out other teams around the league. So there's pros and cons to this. However, the Bills, they, they can use every penny that they can get right now. They're Really, they're going to have to nickel and dime their way into a competitive team in 2024. They're going to still need to make some significant cuts and su some significant... Cap, uh, contract restructures but they just need to be smart with their money and this is a big time help for them I don't necessarily think this means that the Bills go all in on next season because that would not be a smart recipe when you're already in the cap situation you're in you don't want to spend all your money and trade all your assets just to go all in on one season when you're already 41 million dollars over the cap but the Bills they're going to welcome this, and it's going to help this team out in a big-time way. It's going to be exciting to see how all this transpires throughout the offseason and what the Bills end up doing. I still think the primary focus for this team in the offseason is building through the draft, adding assets through the draft so they can add cheaper price tag contracts and add players that are going to be impact players for a long time at a, at a, at a significant significantly lower price than a player that you go out and get in free agency but i want to know what you think in the comment section down below what do you want to see the bills do this offseason is there a free agent target you want to see me make a video about that you'd like to see the bills go out and sign let me know in the comments below and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe to the bills bunker stay tuned for more content coming your way if you like this video give it a thumbs up go bills